All right, guys. So we got Dan here. Dan's my uh, my marathon runner as I train. Um, he's the one I actually wrote about in the hip impingement blog. So he had some issues with his hips. Um, one, one common problem we found with him is that his, his glute medius muscle here on the side of his butt was weak, particularly his posterior glute medius. Okay, um, TFL muscle up here was stiff, very common to find, stiff TFL, weak glute med. Okay, glute med is very important to have strong and functioning properly with runners because it helps stabilize and control the knee position every time your, your foot strikes the ground. So if it's not functioning, you end up with hip issues and knee issues and, and back issues and so forth. The list goes on. Um, so I just want to show you a couple of basic progressions we use here. Um, to start getting the muscle firing and then strengthening it a little bit before he progress into uh, more complex movements. So first he's gonna, he's gonna demonstrate the clamshell here. Um, basically it's a real simple movement, but basically you wanna keep your hips square, trunk square, and basically rotate the knee out and squeeze the side of your butt there. So go ahead and show him a few here, Dan. See, real simple movement, rotates out, squeezes the glute meat at the top generally start out with two or three sets of usually 10, 12 reps. Um, start with just your body weight, then we add, you see you have a little band there, adds tension as you come up. Okay, progression we usually go into after that um, is a uh, side leg raise. So you have your, your whole leg length as a lever to add resistance to the movement. Um, he's gonna show kind of a more advanced one here with the band. Um, so basically you wanna be flat on your side here, hips are square again. And go ahead and bend your bottom leg in there. Okay. Then the, the top hip you're using is going to stay fully extended. So extend that hip, straighten your leg. Okay. And then he's going to lift this straight up to the side. Go ahead. Nope. So so here's something you don't want to do. You don't want to let your hip flex in. So extend your hip back all the way. So back. There you go. So you want to keep that hip extended when you raise it up. I'll go ahead. So you actually kind of want to be pushing back as you raise your leg to the side. Um, one progression I actually use for this, we'll have him lay against the wall and he'll push his leg back against the wall and then we'll go into something like this once he has more control over it. He just did a few sets so he's fatigued but generally that, that's kind of what it looks like there. Um, so these are just a couple easy easy progressions to get that glute knee muscle firing and uh, while, while it's very important and will, will help for a little while, you, you eventually have to progress and, and do some bilateral multi-joint movements, single leg movements and so forth to get the glute meat firing in regular movement in real time. Um, if you just do these and don't progress from there and you're only going to get so far so basically this will help get it firing once you go back to single leg stuff, lunge variations, squat variations so forth, it, it'll, it'll help a lot more with that and eventually will carry over to running and help control that knee position and check the hip and back better. So Dan, Dan how, how much would you say that stuff like this has helped you with your uh, hip problems? Here. Well, before I was doing these, uh, I had a lot of hip soreness, uh, and all the soreness has gone away, mm -hmm. and I feel a lot stronger in the whole pelvic girdle, mm -hmm. um, and I'm walking straight, my alignment's straight, I'm not uh, not walking off to the sides. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, I actually had him do these, you know, three, four times a week when we first started, in addition to his, his, regular, his regular day one, day two program we were doing, and... Uh, it helped him get a fire in, and now he's, he's progressed to regular squat movements and lunge variations, deadlift movements, and so forth. And he's actually started running fairly lightly, but he's been running, and he actually feels good doing it. And uh, so hopefully, hopefully you guys can try this. Maybe it'll help you out a little bit to start. And uh, there you go. Thank you, Dan.